Okay, so today after uh, converting the a lot of the XR VR code to using the render graph, I need to expand that uh, to include the weighting of the swap chain image right now. Because what's happening is that I'm not even beginning, I, I'm not even com declaring or compiling the render graph until I already have the swap chain image. What I would prefer to do is actually be able to compile and submit the these jobs and then like wait upon XR swap chain image acquisition. So I can get like, um, let me have a look here. XR swap chain image. I can do render it. I can render the, ma the majority of the scene before I need the swap chain image to be re to resolve or blit to. So I would like to have this at least done even if I have to wait for the swap chain image, which is of course going to require a little bit of work. Now, if I check for uh, Vulcan synchronization, then unfortunately I'm pretty sure there isn't a easy way or there wasn't. That's probably something to do with this. Um, The two items I have control over outside are semaphores, which are like solely between GPU tasks and not for synchronizing between GPU and CPU, and fences, which was specifically GPU to CPU. Now, as part of this, I need to go from, I need to wait on the CPU side for this, and then I need to signal something in the GPU, which was not available as part of 1.0, but According to this, as part of Vulcan 1.2, there is now a semaphore, a superset of semaphores and fences that allow signaling between GPU and CPU in both directions. So this is what, something I really want to need. If I go down here, so this is just like a semaphore that, okay, I created a semaphore. It's an expanded version of a semaphore with a little extra stuff. Same thing on when waiting and signaling and I can set those wait and signal values. So it's a, it's a, it's a value. It's a count number of value, which changes and you wait for a specific value. Um, and it can be signaled directly from the host and like a VK fence can be weighted on a host as well. So I could just replace basically everything with semaphores if I wanted to, if I knew what values I'm looking and waiting for. Hmm. So this is probably what I need um, to happen. I need us, I need, hmm. I need, a, I need to start using timeline semaphores, at least for this, to wait for this which is a Vulcan 1.2 thing. Which would mean I need to probably, okay, VK timelines, semaphores, bring a Vulcan. Okay, part of Vulcan, there should be a, is this, is this graphics? This looks like graphics. Runtime, runtime. Okay, VK make version. So I can't just wait for, and this has been deprecated anyways, I should be using this. That's been deprecated, so it's this. Okay. So one thing I need to do is this. And I need to expand that to allow that. Not sure why this is not available. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm missing, yeah. There we go. So we'll do runtime. Okay, we'll just add all of that, great. Now, uh, timeline. Uh, VK 
Okay, signal semaphore. There'll be something around here. It's DK synchronization too. Is this just not? Uh, synchronize. Okay, here we go. I need the extension name. I need that. I need that. And then there's probably like a flag somewhere I need to also like for, uh, like a device feature I need to enable. So I need to add this to wherever I actually. Okay, I don't want to do this here. Down here, there should be some middling code here. Yes. Um, for that, okay, we're adding that. And timeline semaphores. Let's search through this. Okay. Um, semaphores this 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 if the timeline semaphore feature is not enabled do 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 okay i need to make sure that this is enabled as part of physical device vulcan 1 2 features okay cute um <clears throat> So how does this work? I can query whether it exists on a Vulcan's physical device. Yeah, but how do I enable it? Do I just have to... Mm -hmm. This is provided as part of Vulcan 1.1, 1 1. okay. This is not. This doesn't even have a P next. That's why the. Oh man, they didn't add a P next to this. That's why they have a, a second version of this stuff. So they have a second version that allows them to query for other types, and that's using a P next, right? Yeah. Okay. This structure can be used or can be included in the pnext chain because it doesn't even have, there's no VK pnext. What? How could it be used here then? Physical device, features two, features two. P features is a pointer of VK physical device, features two. Oh, okay, I see how that works. Mm hmm. They had uh, that basically add, yeah. Okay, this structure could be used in this or can be included in the PNX chain of VK device. In which case, the controls features are enabled in device in lieu of P enabled features. So. 
sorry. P enabled features. Okay. Yeah, a bit, uh, they were a bit short-sighted when they added this. Okay, so when it comes to doing this, I need to enable timeline semaphores. I need, like I this is obviously not going to be a permanent solution. Just adding things here. I'm gonna to have to have some kind of okay. Let me actually add that to the list. Implement. Setting of device features dynamically. Or um, physical device features dynamically. I also need to do something about figuring out API versions. Okay, uh, VK, where was it? Timeline semaphore. Okay, I need a VK device features Vulcan one, two features. Where it's going to be mostly just um, DK structure physical device features too. Vulcan one two features. There we go. Nothing there. We're gonna go all the way down to timeline and four equals VK true. Then we'll include that as a PNX for this. Okay, that should have everything I need for I think for timeline semaphores. Make sure that's not going to break anything quite right now. Make sure it actually works in VR as well. Go to VR view. Yep, it's down there. Yeah, okay, good. It's working with stuff. Okay, the usual breaking stuff on Steam VR and Linux. Okay, great. So, back to what I was needing in the first place is the ability to wait on this. So this is going to be part of the XL swap chain. And what's going to happen is, much like on the presentation image, I need a job that I need to wait on. Or a job that I will wait on I'll have a semaphore. Okay. When I complete... Okay. Rolling back even further. First of all, what's going to happen is I create the job. The job is going to have to create a timeline semaphore. It will also create some CPU jobs that will have the functionality to wait that will call XR wait swap chain. Then, if that succeeds, it'll signal the timeline semaphore in the job, which will then, like this, signal the actual jobs downstream that can then start running. So it's a pretty, pretty simple thing like this. So I need a job like this. Not quite like that, though. 
There's no weight semaphore here. I need, oh yes. DK fence. We have the job name. Mm. Some basic stuff. DK error code, great. That stuff. Uh, we'll then make sure I need to add the job. Now, hmm. do I ever actually run the job? Like, do I create the sem the, the timeline semaphore here inside of this function, or do I do it outside? Realistically, at this point, I've I've already acquired the sem semaphore, the uh, the swap chain image. So I need this needs to be called at some point. So. Yeah, I'll create it outside of it. And I'll also have a function that'll uh, delete the thing later. Dependent jobs to start. Okay, so creating the semaphore first. Let me. So I'm just going to be going through whatever's from this page on the Kronos site. So it's like a reg. It's like the same as creating a regular semaphore, except you have a P next, which links back to this stuff. So. Type create info. Timeline CI. Let's type. So for type create info. Dot. Timeline. Is that it? Just there's. It used to be a Kronos type too. Initial value equals zero. Can I uh, see this? Binary, timeline, time, timeline, binary. I'm not sure what the binary one is about. Explain. Someone explain what is a binary semaphore? Is that just the old fashioned one? It's just zero and one. Come on. Okay, it's still searching. And then we got the old fashioned. Flags. Let's 
set it like that though. Like that. And then we'd have to go error code. I don't have an error code here, do I? Hmm. Again, I, I don't have good error code returns right now. Do I just not have information? I, I, can't, I just don't have. Okay. Yeah, I just, outside of the actual job running, I like the execute function, I don't actually have session info, graphic session information available to create a semaphore outside of that. Hmm, that's not good. Okay. Okay. What do? What do? Okay. What I'm going to do for the moment is I'm just going to like put. I'm going to sneak this. No, because I need it. I need it outside. I need to run the white semaphore, white swap chain image, regardless of whether I'm using it or not. And there's a chance that if like the image isn't presented here. Okay. For the moment, no, I can't do that. I need I okay, I I need something. I need render graph. Render graph needs to have some more information. It needs to have It needs to have session information, doesn't it? I'm creating this dynamically every frame because things can change subtly. And if that's the case, then this can be transient information, right? I think, I think, I think, I think, I think, um, no, no, that wouldn't make sense. Not, not quite yet. If XR release swap chain image is going to happen, that means it 
require this to happen. Okay, so I can't, no, I can actually completely put this inside of here. It becomes a reference type, right? Yeah. Submit. Okay, we have create semaphore, which is the old fashioned. We need that. We got this. We'll have that to be null pointer. Timeline semaphore, we're going to have here. I need in here somewhere there will be some, yeah, how to destroy stuff. That, except we're going to destroy. Semaphore. Okay. So we got that. Moving on down to this, which is the submission information. I'm going to have to have this extra thing put into a pnext of a submit info. Weight value and signal value. So, okay, I'm just waiting. Okay. If I initial it at zero, then I'm going to want to wait. Wait some fours. Two, we're just waiting for these. So we're going to wait for the value to be one. The wait value is going to be hmm. waiting on the value of one. Timeline submit information, great. It's gonna be that. We're gonna p next equals this. I need a in the render graph, I need a new kind of set of jobs. So rendering jobs something like this standard vector of Sorry, not that standard function. Avoid that, that. Um, CPU pre. CPU jobs. Something like that. See, I'll call it for CPU jobs. 
the moment, but that's what it's going to be. I need a reference here. That's why I need the references for the render graph. CPU, uh, place back. Like that. What's going to happen? It's a void. But we do need. Mm, how do I signal it? I signal it like this. It's timeline semaphore. So this is an equals. Great. Uh, this and then I also need the bit of the application for actually waiting now stop this and then I gotta do a loop I think is it a while do no do while would make no Okay, I need. Is it DK? No, XR result. Timeout expired, I believe, is what I'm looking for. Hold on, let me just. Uh, XR specification. XR wait. Swap chain image. Okay. Uh, it's hmm. If the timeout expires without an image, it'll be XR timeout. Otherwise, it'll be XR success. And there'll be some other errors. I mean, it's considered a success. Oh, if. Runtime must eventually relinquish ownership of swap chain image and must not block indefinitely. Okay. While, um, not equal XR success and XR res not equal XR session loss pending, which is considered success uh, that a success as well. We want to keep going through the loop. So equals this. Uh, what's the time? Timeout is what? Hmm. Timeout indicates how many nanoseconds. Okay. What's a reasonable time for nanoseconds? One nanosecond definitely ain't going to be it. Um, let's see. 10,000 nanoseconds to milliseconds will be 0 0.01. Okay. Seems somewhat reasonable. Waiting on the swap chain. Okay. I want to no, not not this. Do while. Okay. Do while XR timeout exp no what while this equals that. Hmm. This is the error case. Otherwise, we want to do that. 
and we're going to signal it to value 1 instead. While this equals XR timeout expired, keep going through. If this, then we've got, we do have log, right? Yeah. General, this will be a fatal error of some sort. Oh, just an error. Um, with a message that's like error. Okay, then you do do. Ba, ba, ba. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Now XR sort chain image. Um, I need to wait. Hold on. I need to wait for XR sort chain image to be done before I can call this. Before it can release, right? Ooh, that's another wrench in my plans, isn't it? So what's happening at XR swap chain, release swap chain. This is a CPU side job. Hmm. Okay, but this is, oh. That's even better because this is a CPU job again, which means it needs to wait for these somewhere. All right. All right. All right. All right. So this would have to wait for the VK fence of the previous job. No. But I can reuse I can reuse the same timeline info, can't I? Mm, let me kind of go back to the. kind of going through the docs again.
Before an application can start building graphics API command buffers that refer to an image in this function, you must acquire the image from the swap chain. The acquire operation determines the index of the next image. Yeah, 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 I got that. Acquires image corresponding. Runtime must call if. Okay. Runtime must eventually relinquish it. Okay. Once the application is done submitting commands that reference the swap chain image, the application must release the swap chain image. So. Oh, no, no, no. no. Releasing the swap chain image. Okay, I don't necessarily have to wait for releasing the swap chain image. It will implicitly release the oldest swap chain image which has been acquired. Okay. And up here, XR wait will implicitly wait on the oldest acquired swap chain image, which has not been successfully waited on. Okay, so yeah, yeah. No, I don't I don't actually need to synchronize between those two. Whew, that's a uh, that's better. I think. Uh, Alright. So that weight value at one, that's great. Go on down here, we submit this stuff. And then, okay, so for this to happen, I'm going to then require down here at some point. After we've executed the render graph, uh, render graph, I need to like, hmm. I don't know. Something like this. Then what's going to go is like four under graph uh, auto the moment I'm just going to go through them single threaded same thread whatever just want to execute the job constant job great we run them all then we run out so, hopefully, what I can do right here is do this, do this, and then down here, after I execute that, I run execute render graph. So, few jobs of the render graph. And the theory goes if I don't have anything wrong. I have something wrong. Oh, um, in the application, when I create a new XR swap chain image, I have the job name. Uh, the fence. That I would wait on. Right? And then that stuff. I guess I haven't put it in here. No, I have not. Okay. This is going to not work, I guarantee it. First try. Okay, 
let's see what's going on here. Uh, right. Okay. Do I have a breakpoint or something? Yes. Okay. No, I just stopped here. Symbol lookup error. Okay. What? What's going on? Is it just because it hasn't been waited on yet? Or what? You just stopped on an assert and you didn't tell me anything about it. Right? Or is it up here somewhere? Uh, validation error. Okay. Went cool and everything, but not helping. Did I not go through and successfully wait on these? Do, was I supposed to do these before? Like I did this. Is it like in the wrong order? Does it have to be done beforehand? Okay, let's, uh, let's say I execute these jobs before. What happens? Hmm? Swap chain with that weight input. That's fantastic. Thank you very much. I mean, it got out of this job. We know that. Okay. Oh, I didn't do this, did I? Provider's that job. I did add the job, though. So it did run. Nope, nothing. Just... Oh, I got a... Okay. Here. Bit of an error in here. What's going on? Hmm? Okay, that is an equals. That's fine. I mean, this has nothing to do with it whatsoever, for sure. Okay, this is for IMAX, and this is all the Vulcan stuff, OpenXR, graphics, descriptor sets, bunch of things for the um, spur V stuff here attempted to load in parallel okay then capturing scene focus and then it dies here dies here when running this job presumably is it like when it's running this job or what execute render graph 
It's when it's creating the job. Okay. Render graph is probably just not existing anymore. Right? That's probably the problem right there. And the graph is just not there. So, uh, do I just provide it as part of this? Most probably. Right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay, change this to be an equals. I'll provide render graph. Is it a const? I can't, it can't be a const. Um, I don't really want to give public access to the entirety of the struct. Of the render graph job uh, of the render graph struct. That's too much information to have inside of here. Inside the execute function. Hmm. Okay, fifty minutes. Let me grab a quick drink and think about this quick. BRB. Well, no. Hold on. Hold on a second. What am I thinking? Why is it only like airing out when it's? What? It's if I. If I put this after, right? Where is it? There. If I put this after, it's fine? Like, if I do it this way, it's working fine. Well, of course... Hmm. Of course, because the render graph would actually add the jobs. Now I'm executing the jobs, right? That's what's going on here, right? Right? No. Uh, then how did it work before? Because before it was just uh, 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 crashing on XRN frame. All right, then. <clears throat> cool. Cool, 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 cool. It's broken somehow. Cool. Okay, okay. Let's just set this back to equals. I'll, f I'll be adding the, the, the uh, render graph here. No, I won't be adding the render graph. I'll be... Add CPU job, kind of a function. Uh, it'll be a. F it's a function which takes in a function. <laughs> Add CPU function function. Yeah, that makes sense. Like that. Uh, I'll have to all the other locations, I guess. Uh, render graph job, which is based off of this, that, 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 and then we'll have it on the end instead, like that. Okay. So back up, move it from there.
get rid of that. We'll do that here. Resolve image here. Uh, yeah, I don't have it there quite yet. Import image doesn't appear to have one, but it should be right there. Uh, that's not even anything to do with this yet. That's here. here. I'm going to be missing a location or two. Right about here, I need to actually provide the function, which is <clears throat> This and then it'll be like you know render graph dot add CPU jobs dot and place back the the function like that. Okay. We don't have that. What we what we are going to add though is that that okay. I don't prov I don't provide direct the stuff directly. Back to application, we do have the execute CPU graph. So, first of all, do we make it here do, or do we crash before? Because I did XR swap chain, it's in the equals, right? Yes. Do, 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 do. Great, we're in here. Go inside. We have a job. Which takes me somewhere. I'll just assume it's working correctly. Bam, continue. And then we crash here. Great! Fatal, error in. Okay, I know what th where that is. I know that's down here. Okay. Elaborate. XR time and then what? Okay, cool. Uh, what's the message? Error call order invalid. Um, okay. 
I thought I could do this. I thought call okay XR really where's X is this XR release? No. Thanks for making things. This is being called before. So I do need to wait for it before I can release it. Oh, come on. to do is I'm going to add a CPU function like this. It's going to be like this. I'm going to go all the way down to this. Like that. So that's great. Is the VR view correct? The VR view is indeed correct. Okay. That's a bit not, that's not really what I was hoping for. Really. But it works, I guess. So, okay, so I've got a little bit of a, I got to deal with this CPU job thing. This is firing off after, C, after this. It has to, okay, it has to call XR white swap chain and pass before I can go to the XR release. That we know. If I have this outside of, of here, it breaks. So this has to be called afterwards. Otherwise I get a call, you know, a out of order or incorrect ordering. Is there a thing that says that, let's say, let's copy that and put it in here. The XR swap chain image is invalid. Here we go. Somewhere here. Uh, once an application is done submitting commands that reference a swap chain image. It says done submitting commands that reference it. It doesn't say that the reference commands are complete. The application must release a swap chain image. Okay, so I'm probably still safe here. As long as this is after the point of which... This will this will always happen after the point that I've executed the, this these functions. Ooh. So that's right. That's correct. I need a tie this to this somehow uh, through condition variables or something oh no wait I could just do it here couldn't I I could that would make sense Because um, this has been added only after I've already executed compiled functions. So this would all this. Oh, no, no, maybe, 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 maybe. 
Um, hmm. Can I do this here? I'm in tr I'm curious. Uh, P resource. That's just swap chain, right? No. Okay, I don't need this. It's up here. I can just let's say just do that. I can just wait and then release because I've already submitted the commands. This has already been submitted once before. And in fact, yeah, unless I want to change it around, maybe. Okay, let's actually see if this works first. Okay, this works. This works fine enough, it looks like. Okay. So I don't actually need, need to do this. I was thinking of maybe tying things a bit more complicated, but it doesn't have to be, it looks like. It can just work like this. I do that, I get rid of this. that the entire function is just gone that takes me back to the application where this is just gone Okay. Uh, seems to be fine. VR views there, right? Yes, that's fine. Great. Okay. Something I may have to do instead is I need to make sure that the import, the XL swap chain import image, this this has to fire off. The only way that I can sure things fire off is through this, which is an output job. So what I need to do is, is instead of let's say having an output job, I need to have a job that's like, it's a required job, I think. Presentation, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I need to rename this from an output job to a job that has, it's just a required job, whether it's presenting an image that's required, or in this case, importing an image and doing some special, Blah, blah blah. So I need to change that up in the render graph job to required like that. Try to compile. There'll be a bunch of places where it's not going to compile correctly because it's been changed. So it's this required. Okay. Go back to it's gotta save that render graph header. Okay, we got that. Um This job needs to be run at some point. Mm. 
and it's part of the render graphs execution. As the job. Other reasons exist, okay. So if I go to here, can I do some stuff? Yeah, that's working good still. Stop that, it's exited out of that. And thus, it just needs to happen. That's great. Import image. Uh, yeah, that's not required. Present image. That's importing the swap chain image. This is presenting the swap chain image. Graph required. Okay, open the file. Processed. Okay. Render scene required. Resolve image. Okay. UI pass. XR swap chain. This importing the XR swap chain must be run because of this little funky stuff out here. Let's see how that goes for what I need to do. 